All right, I am back uh, on my quest for a recurve buck. And tonight I'm sitting on the pinch of all pinches. I mean, my only shot is five yards or less. And I'm probably only eight feet up, so you wanna talk about up close and personal. You know, I couldn't go further north or south than this because it gets just too thick bunch of cedars um, but right here the the creek makes a big s and this tall bank pinches them down right here in fact while I was hanging this stand I had a doe and two fawns come by and I felt like I could have just touched them with the bottom of my recurve they're so close I think I got a little bit of cell phone video but it's pretty cool to be in this tree. I, I eyed this tree as a potential recurve spot back when I first walked this property, before I even purchased it. So pretty cool to, to finally be at least trying it. This Big Ten, I've gotten a couple pictures of them lately. Not, I don't have any cameras over in this spot, but it's at least in the ball game, I think. And, uh, you know, it's a recurve huntable spot. I, there's a couple spots that I think I could kill him with my compound. But they just don't set up well for a recurve. You know, stand is high in the tree and further shots, that type of stuff. So I wanted to come try this. We'll see what happens. I, you know, the biggest thing one of the biggest challenges, I should say, with filming is getting them to stop in a situation like this because your, your window's so small. So I applied some buck scent, like some dominant buck scent to this little cedar with the hope of him stopping to smell it. It would give me like a five yard quartering away shot if he comes from this direction. So we shall see if he wants to read the script tonight. Either way, it's going to be a pretty fun, intense hunt. Like I said before, not a spot where I expect to see a lot of deer, but you know, maybe I could call him over here and get him to come through this little gap.
Well, I've uh, I've now had the whole drive home to to replay that one over and over again, and it's still just as painful as as it was watching him, you know, bound off into the creek right there. They're just just so close. And looking back, it's like, man, to pull that off that close, you know, being eight or nine feet off the ground, having the deer at three yards walk by like that. It just, it, you know, uh, part of me looks back and says, okay, that deer's dead. I mean, if I wasn't trying to get really good footage and, you know, do everything that I have always done, you know, that deer's dead a hundred times over. You just did plenty of time to draw back and shoot him it's just the fact that everything worked to perfection too up until that point you know he worked through walked past me was quartering away at probably five yards he stopped to smell where i where i sprayed some scent on the on the vegetation there everything was perfect it was just the the act of having to let go of the camera to get my bow off the the bow hanger to get drawn back you know, I'm just staring at him, watching where his head is turning. But when it's that close and you, there's nothing in between me and him, literally, I could, you know, almost reach out and touch him. We were that close. Um, it's just so hard to get away with any movement, even though I was trying to be so, so careful with with everything I was doing. And so now I look at it like, man, is it even possible to pull it off from that stand in that situation? Like he somehow either has to be really windy to get away with the movement or his attention needs to be focused elsewhere because I feel like I did everything I possibly could and uh, failed to get it done. So, um, like I said, one, there's, there's a small part of me that's, that's like, man, you did everything you needed to do, hung the stand did the work killed and basically had him dead to rights and there's the other part of me that says will you ever get an opportunity like that again um the deer is very very killable with a compound you know with a compound it opens up my whole farm like i have a, a bunch of different stand options but with where i'm at as a recurve hunter still being a novice you know i i want to be in certain situations that give me the best chance of of making a good shot and uh you know i don't need them you know at five yards but you know it still limits what stands and areas i can go to 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 have the likelihood of a, a close range shot so while it's definitely painful um I can say that that was one of the most intense encounters I've had. And, you know, I could hear walking in the brush, didn't know what deer it was. And then when I saw his frame come through the cedars, you know, my heart was beating out of my chest. I mean, he probably, as close as we were, he probably heard my, my heartbeat too. Um, but just the intensity of, of being right there, um, the five or six year old deer basically right in my lap trying to get that done was about as intense as it gets so um definitely grateful for the encounter just wish it would have turned out a different way but that's how it goes that's that's all part of this game so hopefully i can get back after him soon but man what a day in the stand for sure